Hi everyone, Fast Food Friday food review time once again and today I am going off to Australia's favourite Mexican joint. In fact it's probably only about one of three Mexican joints in the whole country. Mexican food here is not a big thing. Probably because no one here knows how to make it. But I'm going to Guzman y Gomez today to try one of their burritos. Now Guzman y Gomez started in Sydney in 2006. It has now got over a hundred stores worldwide and when I say worldwide I mean in Singapore and in Japan. So it's in two other countries other than Australia and the franchise is growing quite a lot. It's pretty popular. I haven't had it before so I'm gonna go in buy one see what it looks like see what it tastes like and give it a score out of 10. Now I must admit I haven't had a lot of Mexican food. Living in Australia is... <laughs> we don't really have any. Can you believe that? Well at least Gus Mini Gomez has put their hands up and said come on guys come and try some Mexican. So let's whip on in there and try some authentic Mexican food. Let's go. Well, that's what a Guzman y Gomez looks like. An impressive looking store indeed. Hey, it's even got a drive through But I'm going inside today because I don't know what they actually have in there, so I'll go and suss out the menu. Well, this is what the inside of a Guzman y Gomez looks like. It's very well decored and they also have condiments and sauces as well. Alright, well here we go. Here's my Guzman y Gomez. Now this burrito cost me, well, they're $11.70 but I got the beef so that was an extra 50 cents so it was $12.20. That's a lot. It's got a good weight but let's see how much it actually does weigh. 483 grams. That's just over a pound. Well, that's not a bad weight, is it? Hopefully it'll be pretty filling as well. Anyway, let's take a look inside, see what they serve inside one of their Guzman y Gomez burritos. Alrighty. How exciting, it feels like Christmas time. Wow, look what Santa brought, a burrito. Well, that's the size of it. Now that tortilla there is very nice and soft. Feels nice and fresh. So inside, gee, I don't want to mess this up too much. Oh, that must be a nice piece of beef that I got. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa! That looks like it'll come out the same way that it's going in. So we've got quite a bit of cheese here. There's a fair amount of beef here as well. Got some diced onions. They look like they've been mixed in with a nice sauce. Underneath here, we've got some black beans and some white rice. I also had the option of getting brown rice, which I didn't take. And they also gave me an option of adding guacamole and something else. I forget what though. But I didn't want to fork out the extra dough for that because it was probably going to cost me another two bucks. So I thought I'd just get the standard one. So there we go. Beans, rice, meat, cheese and tomatoes. To all you Mexican food lovers, does that look about right? I'm not too sure myself. Anyway, I've got some of the beef here, let's try it. It tastes like pork, but it doesn't taste like it's got a lot of sauce or flavour on it. It's a sort of a blandish sort of beef taste. It hasn't got any spice or anything. Now I've just got to figure out how to wrap this back up so it looks half decent. I think I need a degree in tortilla wrapping. Now I did wear my old clothes today, especially some old shorts because I wasn't sure if this would be dripping everywhere. That's what she said. Anyway, let's have our first bite of Guzman y Gomez. Mmm. 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 Oh, tastes pretty good. Straight away I got that beautiful flavour of Mexico in there. The black beans and the rice just mixed in really well together. They had that beautiful South American flavour. There was quite a lot of cheese as well, so I did get a really nice mouthful of cheese which really complemented this meal. And the beef on there tasted really juicy and really nice. It all blended really nicely inside my mouth. It was quite tasty indeed. Let's go again.
Mmm. Mmm. Now, they did ask if I wanted sour cream or guacamole on this as well, which I'd say would make it taste over the top good. And there was a condiment bar there as well, so I could have even added extra sauces, some extra spicy or just some mild, so I could have adapted this a bit better. But I just wanted to try it on its own, and so far, wow, it's delicious. I'm really enjoying this. It does have quite a lot of rice and beans on there, but there is quite a bit of beef there as well. Hmm, I'm really enjoying this. I think I've had enough of it now to know what score I'm going to give it out of 10. Value-wise, $12.20 for this. Well, I mean, that's a bit expensive, isn't it? I mean, considering it's half beans and rice, which costs nothing. A tortilla costs nothing. There's only a little bit of beef on there. Probably only costs about a dollar to make this, I reckon. So they have jacked the price right up, haven't they? I'd like to know what something like this in Mexico would cost. Probably 50 cents. But having just been inside the store there, I mean, they've got to pay for that decor somehow. I mean, it was really nicely set up, the Gasmini Gomez. But that doesn't mean they should be able to charge you that much for something like this. Flavor-wise, well, it is really nice. I'm really enjoying this. It's not dry at all. It's got a nice amount of moisture in there, and it's really easy to eat. The tortilla on the outside is beautiful and fresh, a little bit chewy, but that really blends in nicely with the rest of the ingredients inside this. I can't really taste the tomato or salsa that was in there, but that's all right. I'm sure it's adding some flavors in there as well. The flavors of this burrito are pretty nice, but it's not an overwhelming flavor. It's actually quite mild. I'm sure if I added all those condiments to it, it would really boost the flavor. So, Gasmini Gomez, for your burrito, out of 10, I'm giving you a... 7.8569 out of 10. It was a little bit expensive for what you're getting, which is mainly rice and beans, but the flavors are really nice, and um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it, and I would definitely get another one of these again. Cool. And I didn't even need to wear my old raggy clothes because I haven't even spilt any on them at all. So what's my recommendation? Well, I mean, if you're driving past a Gasmini Gomez and you want to drop a few quid, whip on in and get one of their burritos. They're pretty nice and I'm really enjoying it. If I wasn't filming a video in my car and I was eating in, I would definitely load it up with the jalapenos and the onions and the other condiments that they had there. I reckon that would send it over the top. Well, there you go, some Australian Mexican food. It's supposed to be authentic, was it? If you're a Mexican food lover, does this look the part? Have you tried Gasmini Gomez before? Do you like it? If you do, let me know why and what the best thing about it is. Anyway, I'm going to finish this bad boy off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for my next review. Hopefully, this should see me through to dinner. Cheers, everyone. Mmm, mmm. Oh, yeah, this is Greg's kitchen where the